morning, happy Wednesday, and happy St. Patrick's Day. It's Jen from Polk County Public Libraries this week with our kids take and make craft. So if you haven't already, swing by Columbus Library or Saluda Library to pick up your free take and make kit to do a shamrock thumbprint painting for St. Patrick's Day. So in your kit, uh, you will have a piece of cardstock. You will have a shamrock cut out. Now yours might not be green. It doesn't matter what color it is because we are not actually using this for our final project. This is just to get the outline of the shamrock. And you will have two um, containers of paint, some green paint, and then also some gold paint. So you'll probably have a little bit more green paint. Um, I wanna make my painting mostly green since that's the color associated with St. Patrick's Day. But we're gonna also just add a little bit of gold to make it more colorful. And those are both um, tempera paint. So that is the kind that is a little more washable. So still try not to get it on your clothes or your furniture or your carpet, um, but it's gonna be okay to get on our fingers and our thumbs and we'll just wash it off right after we're done with our project. So you're gonna take your shamrock and you're going to place it on your piece of cardstock. So cardstock is just uh, thicker paper. So you could place it um, horizontally if you want. It fits that way or it also fits vertically. Now there are a few different ways you could do this. Um, you could tape your shamrock down while you're doing your thumbprint painting. Uh, I am a little worried if you do that, it'll be hard to peel it off afterwards. Uh, you could just have, you could hold it down while you're doing your thumbprint painting or have someone else hold it down. Or you could get a pencil and you could trace around it and then just make sure to do all your thumbprints outside. So I'm just gonna hold mine down while I do my thumbprints. And this is probably gonna be pretty messy. So I'm gonna dip my thumb into the green and I'm just gonna press my green thumbprint a few times. And I like to press it right on the shamrock so we get a pretty distinct outline of it when we are finished and pull it up. So make sure you kind of go oop, right close to it to get the good outline. And of course you'll get different um, different shades of green. The first time you press your thumb down, it'll be a little bit greener because that has more paint on it, as opposed to if you press it a few times, it gets a little bit lighter. All right, I got quite a few green thumbprints. Now you could switch and use your other thumb for the gold or you could wash your hands. I'm just gonna do some finger painting for my gold so I can keep pulling this down. So I'm gonna go around, again, touching that outside of the shamrock. Make sure it has a nice shape. And I'm doing this pretty quickly for the video, but you can take your time. You could make a pattern if you wanted. Do whatever you like. This is your art creation, so you make it your own. You do not have to follow my rules. All right. So you can see I've colored this page pretty thoroughly with green thumbprints and gold finger painting. And now I'm going to lift up my shamrock. I'm gonna throw that in the trash. And you can see that there's that beautiful outline of the shamrock surrounded by my thumbprints and fingerprint painting. Hope you guys have fun. Happy St. Patrick's Day.